Hey, what is up everybody? Steve here with Evolve Guitar. I just wanted to let you know I'm going to include tabs for this song down in the description below. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you like this video, and hey, let me know if there's other tutorials you'd like to see. The main riff of this song is really just based on three chords. Uh, let me show you what those are going to be really quick. The first one is really just E, so we're going to play the open sixth string, and then we're going to be right here, uh, which is on the ninth fret. So we're right in this area. I'll show you a bit of that more in a second. Uh, but the next chord is a B chord. Uh, if you're familiar at all with the B bar chord, it's very much like that, except instead of barring it, we're gonna use our thumb to play the seventh fret here. And then we're gonna use these fingers here, kind of like an F chord would be here. So basically we have this. Uh, so what this is allowing us to do here is to do hammer-ons and pull-offs like that, uh, which we couldn't really do if we were barring it this way. So we got this B chord, and then the next chord is the same thing, it's just down two frets, it's an A chord, with sometimes these little hammer-ons and pull-offs with the pinky. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, like I said, is play this open six string. Then we're gonna go here, ninth fret, fifth string, and we're gonna hammer on to 11. So, and then the next thing we're gonna do is play nine on the fourth and third strings, with a little bar with our pointer finger. So, one more time. Okay, and then you wanna stop it after that. Okay? Next, we're gonna do another hammer on pull off. Like this, so what, what that is is third string, ninth fret, we're gonna hammer on to 11 and then pull off. And then play 11 on the fourth string. So that whole part. And then a little slide off. Okay, then B, the B chord, we're gonna start with a little slide up to the B. So a little slide up with your thumb, and then we're going. So what that was is I put my pinky down on the ninth fret of the first string and pull off so that it goes to the, the pointer finger, the seventh fret. So I'm going uh, first string, pull off, second string, and then third. strum and that one was a hammer on so strum hammer on pinky okay then we're gonna do something really similar on the A chord we go down to A so let me start from the beginning and show you the whole part go to the 12th fret, first and second strings, and we're gonna slide up to 14, like that, and then a little stop right after it. So just a quick little slide up. So 12 to 14, back to 12, to nine on the first and second strings, and then third string 11, and the slide down, so. Something I want to point out here too is that with all these little hammer-ons and pull-offs and stuff he's doing, um, he's not always doing them exactly the same way throughout the song, and I've seen live versions of the song too, and he's not doing it exactly the same way every time. So you can kind of play around with it, but basically sometimes he's pulling off the first string, sometimes he's pulling off the second string, sometimes it's the third string. So you can kind of listen to it, you can kind of do it as you want to do it. Any of them will sound great. 
Okay, so that's like the first half. The second half of the intro is really similar. It's almost exactly the same thing. That was just slightly different. Let me show you that. So that's exactly like the first part. Then, so third and um, fourth strings, ninth fret, hammer on to 11 on the third string, then back to nine on both. little bit there's a slide from 12 so you're doing 12 on the first and second strings and it's a quick slide up you don't have to be real specific with where you end the slide you just want it to go up and then kind of stop quickly like that and then you're gonna do a slide down on the sixth string same idea you're gonna start about here and then you're just gonna go down quickly and you're gonna end it somewhere, it doesn't really matter. Now during the actual verse section of the song where the singing comes in, it's almost exactly the same as the intro. Again, I don't think he does it exactly the same way every time, so I'm not gonna worry about it being super specifically exactly the same as he does it, but to show you what he's doing in general, how he's thinking about it, he's doing this E chord again. Noticing he doesn't stop in between like how in the intro it was kind of like very like stop right there. It doesn't really do that in the verse. So it's the same thing. I'm just not really stopping the strings here. I'm still going to the B and then A. And then in the last part, you can let it hang on just this open E chord or open E string. You can also hit the low E chord here. That'll work. Mike McCready's guitar solo in this song is pretty awesome. Uh, the basis for what he's doing is the E major pentatonic scale. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about really quick. If you don't know, you probably do, but let me just show you. So since the song is in E, and if you know, this is E here, and as many of you probably know, there's this E minor pentatonic that happens right here, right? Uh, so for major pentatonic, all we need to do is slide down three frets so that our pinky is on E, and then we're gonna play that exact shape. But when you do it here, it's gonna sound major. Anyway, that's the basis for the, for the solo he's doing. So he's gonna start off really in the same position that the, um, the intro started in. So we're on the ninth fret. We're gonna hammer onto 11 on the fourth strings. And then the third string nine. So that's the first thing. Okay, then we're gonna play this note again. Third string, ninth fret. Then second string, uh, 12th fret. Then we're gonna go over to third string, 11th fret. We're gonna bend it. So. So that was a bend, another, another, and then a bend and then release. And then back to 11, okay. Now we're gonna kind of start descending down. We're gonna start on the ninth fret, third string, then 11, fourth string, ninth, then fifth string, 11 to nine. We're gonna slide down and then seven, fifth string. So. <laughs> OK, 
okay? So for context, let's hear that whole thing. Okay, so go into this next part. Now we're gonna play um, from here. Okay, then back to the ninth fret on this fifth string, we're gonna bend it. It's a half step bend, so we just want it to sound like 10. So then we're gonna go back to nine and then seven on the fifth string. Nine on the sixth string. Seven on the fourth. Nine on the fifth. Seven. And then nine on the sixth. Fifth string seven. And then back to nine. Back to nine there, and then 11, and then bend. So let me do that a few times so you can hear it in context. Let me do it from the beginning now. up we're going to the 12th fret on the second string we're gonna bend it it's a whole step bend so we want it to sound like the 14th fret so we're gonna bend that I like to use like three fingers to do bigger bends like this so it's a bend and then a release and I'll tell you what in these solos nailing those bends is really everything the way Mike McCready does it sounds super awesome um, and a lot of it is just his technique and bending and how how accurate he is, how expressive he is with it. So really try and nail that bend. It's, you know, it's really important. Okay, so we're doing that. Bend 14, release to 12. Then we're hitting this, which is actually the same exact pitch as that is. Okay, so then we're going ninth fret, first string. Then we're gonna kind of walk down this pentatonic shape. We're going 12, second string, nine. So. Okay, so. Okay, now we're going third string, 11th fret. We're gonna do a big bend and then actually a few bends. To me, this sounds very Jimi Hendrixy. A lot of this song does, but especially this part. So I'm doing a bend release and then another one. And then back to 11, so to 9, and then back to 11, and then whammy bar time. So. Okay, then we're gonna kind of shift up here. So after the whammy, we're going 11th fret to 9, to 4th string 11. Then we're gonna play 11, uh, third string, slide to 13. Okay, and then 12, second string, back to 13, third, and then. So let me rewind a little bit and start at the first part of this section, so. Like that. Okay, now we're going first string on the 14th fret. We're gonna bend it until it sounds like 16. So, 14th bend, back to 12, and then 14 on the second string, and then first string, 12, 14, 12. Okay, now we're going to the 11th fret on the third string. We're gonna do this kind of familiar blues lick here, which is gonna be bending the 11th fret to sound like the 13th fret. 
and then we're gonna use a little mini bar here to play nine and nine on the, the second and first strings. So we're going, then back to the second string, so. So the last one is the 12th 12, 12th fret. Second string, we're gonna bend it to sound like 14, so. Okay, then we're gonna go back to the first string, ninth fret. <clears throat> kind of walk down this pentatonic shape again. 12th fret, ninth fret. Then we're going 11 here on the third string, so. One more time. Okay, we're gonna do another almost Jimi Hendrix-y style bend. So we're gonna play the 11th fret, but we're gonna do a pre-bend. So we're gonna uh, be on the 11th fret here, but we're gonna start with it bent. We're gonna release it to sound um, back to 11. So we're going. Okay. And then another bend, so. Okay. Then we're gonna pull off on 11 to nine. Okay, then 11 on the fourth string, 11 on the third, 11 on the fourth, and then back to nine on the third string. So. Almost done, one more time though. Back to 11 on the third string, to nine, and then 11 on the fourth. Back to nine, 11, pull off to nine. So. Okay, now 11, third string. We're gonna do a big bend. It's gonna sound like 14 here. So. And he does it kind of slow if you listen to it in the song. It's kind of a slow, like dramatic sounding bend. And then release back to 11. Again, I like to use three fingers on this, right? So I'm using my ring finger here and I'm kind of holding all of them really bending with my wrist to get that that big bend in there okay then back to nine on the third string 11 on the fourth then nine eleven nine on the third okay then we're gonna slide up so we're going 11 to 13 slide and then 12 on the second back to 13 and then 14 on the second string, and then some hammer-ons and pull-offs. So let me do that whole bit. <laughs> 